Hello everybody, welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Michelle if you're new here and I know it's been a while since I posted anything of Uncle Roger reaction videos. Don't get me wrong, I love filming these. It's just I've been traveling and then that has been taking up my space and my YouTube channel so hopefully you guys will check those out too. But today I cannot let go of this opportunity to review this video. As some of you may know, I love pasta. I know, I know, I'm Asian, but like, I really love pasta. It's just anything carbs, I love. Okay. So in case you do not know who Uncle Roger is, hello and the program. Um, Uncle Roger, aka Mr. Nigel, is a stand-up comedian based in UK slash Malaysia. So he started reviewing videos of what he calls the white people are trying to make of Asian food. So it all started with his fried rice video that totally blew up and then we just love watching him roasting those people non-stop. So I think the story behind this video is this Italian chef called out Uncle Roger like hello if you know Uncle Roger you wouldn't want to do that because he would roast you like a pecking duck. Okay. Hi yeah. This Italian chef Vincenzo plate he challenging Uncle Roger. Every uh -huh. video you do is egg fried rice. Egg fried rice. Can you actually cook something else or you only cook one dish? Huh? Maybe huh? that's why Auntie Ellen left you. <laughs> <laughs> this chef Vincenzo, what? Like, he even pulled the Auntie Ellen card. Ooh, you went a little far. He insult my egg fried rice and my marriage. Okay, Vincenzo, in this video, Uncle Roger gonna make my own carbonara. Show you I not just one trick pony. Yeah, I'm sure Uncle Roger is not just run one trick pony. Like he's probably jack of all trades, but like really master of all trades because he's Uncle Roger. I'm just gonna skip the VPN section here. Oh, hello, Auntie Liz. Oh my Uncle God, Uncle Roger, Liz. back at your restaurant because I need to use your. Wait, 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 wait. Wait a second. If you guys know me, I love fashion and outfits and things like that. Can we look at Auntie Liz for a second? Oh, hello. Whoa. Look at her. Get up. I love that shorts. I love the belt. Like, she's gonna go boating. Her top is so cute and her haircut. She kind of gave out that Marilyn Monroe vibe a little bit with the red lipstick. Auntie Liz. I'm a big fan of Auntie Liz. She's so funny and she's so cute. Auntie Liz, Uncle Hi. Roger, back at your restaurant because I need to use your kitchen even though I've been fired from here two times now. Yeah, I can't seem to get rid of you, Uncle Roger. I hear this Italian chef has challenged you to make some pasta. Hi, Uncle Roger! You have been reviewing so many egg fried rice videos, but every video you do... I really love the Italian accent. It's like, egg fried rice video, everything you do is egg fried rice sorry guys i'm gonna turn on caption because english is my second language and then now with the italian accent i really kind of need that caption egg fried rice egg fried rice e basta is enough e i basta. am challenging you to make spaghetti alla carbonara Ooh. do not follow your best friend gordon ramsay because he uses peas and cream fresh for carbonara cream fresh. Mm. the challenge is <laughs> <laughs> Let's replay his face. Mm. You asked for it. That face is um the next meme now. Oh, bring it on. Fuyo. Hi. Fuyo. Uh, he insulting <laughs> Uncle Gordon and he can't even say Fuyo correctly. Oh, okay, man. Vincenzo. Uncle Roger gonna make carbonara. So easy. So Step easy. one, if you use Did cream, throw it out. You make <gasps> Italian people cry because cream it's like Italian people chili jam. <laughs> of course, let's not forget roasting Jamie Oliver with his chili jam. So, Uncle Roger, you can't do a carbonara without some good quality black pepper. Correct. I, I got you this very special sour pepper. Sour what? Oh, black this pepper. black pepper from Malaysia. Oh. See? There's no good black pepper from Singapore. <laughs> Oh, so if you guys don't understand, yes, Auntie Liz is from Singapore and Uncle Roger is from Malaysia. And then some of you explained to me that the two countries has a little beef is because Singapore takes a lot of like, good cuisines from Malaysia and claim their own. Is that what it is? Or something like that. That's why he always makes jokes around it. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong though. 
that's where Auntie lives from. And also there's a present for you. Because <laughs> I know how much you like pounding. Oh, Auntie Liz, no Uncle Roger. Too well. No. I love pounding. No. Is this how peanut allergy guy pound you? A little bit faster. A little fa <laughs> Oh, Uncle Roger likes slow and sensual. Is this what you do? Auntie Liz is like also not holding back on those um sorry children jokes. That was pretty good. Don't make too much mess. Hiya. Uncle always well, makes mess. I'm wearing a low cut top today. No, you should wear low cut top. This perfect for your only fan. Only fan? Yeah. I don't know what that is. Oh, you don't know what only fan is? They sell naked photo for money. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, is there still people out there who don't know what only fans is? I mean, of course, maybe their parents, but I'm pretty sure Liz knows. Beautiful chef pounding. That your only fan title. <laughs> and Vincenzo, the meat you need for carbonara is this thing, guanciale. Ooh. It's from the pig's cheeks. It's got a really good flavour and lots of fat in it. Don't wow. use bacon. Don't use pancetta. pancetta. They're for poor people. Oh no. Guys, another thing to add on your list. First, don't use onions as for poor people. And then now, pancetta and bacon are also for poor people. You gotta use guanciale. Hey, I'm learning some Italian here. I love this. What would you use if uh, your niece and nephews can't find guanciale? If niece and nephew can't find guanciale, then get your shit together and move to better neighborhood. <laughs> now you need to chop your guanciale to little strip. All right, I'll take that. How I do? Looks good. Nice and even. How I My do? My chopping improved since last time? Yeah. It's yeah. careful the knife. It's very, very sharp. Hiya. Uh, stop woman splaining. Uncle Roger, you sharp knife before? It's chef splaining. Win chef one splaining. Michelin star and now so arrogant. <laughs> chef splaining. Hey, yeah. Just, she's a chef, not just woman. Don't be sexist right there. <laughs> Get out. Cut away skin <laughs> on the guanciale because nobody wants foreskin on your pot. Oh, God. Sorry, children. Don't steal Uncle Roger catchphrase. <laughs> You see here? I think I just got that 10 seconds later. No, 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 no. Let's just move on. This is the same level as BBC. Let's move on. This the skin. Don't take this part off. This where all the flavor is. Okay, yeah. Now we slice it into strip. Auntie Liz, you write your knife very sharp. Nice cutting. She cut through Ooh. like butter. Ooh. Yo, so pretty. Look at this. Can you eat guanciale raw? I wouldn't recommend it. I think you can eat cure. There's no bacteria on there. <gasps> and of course, you can't make spaghetti cup. Did he really eat that? Did he really do anything for YouTube, you know? But let's not eat raw pork. <laughs> Carbonara without spaghetti. But when you buy spaghetti, niece and nephew, only buy the good stuff. See this one? So yellow. This is stuff you get from regular grocery store. Tastes like shit. Throw it out. But look at this one. This the good shit. And Uncle Roger also prefers spaghetti to regular spaghetti Spec because Tony. Uncle Roger fancy. What's the difference between <laughs> spaghetti? Hey, catch that K-pop reference. And again, spaghetti. Oh, it just uh, thicker. Things are better when it's thicker. I uh. Uncle Roger trying to make family friendly video. <laughs> oh, sorry. Auntie Liz is not making it family friendly. Oh, goodness. Subscribe to Auntie Liz's channel. <laughs> she makes so many dirty jokes on there. Really? Oh my god. And also, when you take out. spaghetti out, you want to throw away the broken spaghetti. Because broken spaghetti only for broken family. Don't use it. Uncle Roger, do you know how the Italians measure? <laughs> A broken spaghetti is only for broken families. Um, you know, actually, I think some people, I don't know if Italians do that, maybe they'll be heartbroken after hearing this. Some people actually intentionally break their spaghettis to cook just so when their kids are eating it, it's not that messy because, you know, kids can't really slurp the whole thing. So breaking them help the kids eat pasta. Portion for spaghetti, you just go like that. But then if your hand's small, you eat less. Yeah. yeah. Auntie Liz is very used to this motion. <laughs> <laughs> now we're gonna make this. <laughs> this family friendly videos. Um, we actually also do that in our culture. We just grasp it with like however big our hand is. Like that's one portion. Yeah. 
Make the carbonara sauce. For the sauce, Uncle Roger loves to use either one or two egg yolk per portion, okay. depending on how many baby chicken you want to kill. Okay. This is pecorino. <laughs> don't use parmesan, don't be basic. Pecorino. I'm taking notes right here. Spaghetti, spaghetti and guachile. Guachile and then perigone. Perigone. Now mix it all together. Perigone. I know this mm. Italian food, but Uncle Roger likes to mix with chopstick. <laughs> Still gotta keep the Asian And some black you. pepper. And of course, the king of flavor, MSG. Don't put too much because guanciale is already quite salty. Oh, guanciale. Guanciale is very salty. Yeah, because all the curing with the pork, okay. Let's do this. I am already drooling. It's lunchtime and I have not eaten. I would love some carbonara right now. <gasps> Too much MSG. Yeah, <laughs> Uncle Roger learned. Uncle Roger think in my fire rice video, I put too much MSG in. Oh, There's dude, so that many was a people lot. complaining. It's all right. It was very salty. <laughs> I want it to have this kind of creamy consistency. Mmm. Oh. Do you want to eat this raw? No, no. It's just salmonella. Don't be pussy. We cook our spaghettoni. Boil a pot of water. Usually, we salt our pasta water with regular salt. But for Uncle Roger, what? I salt my pasta water with MSG. Just use feeling. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. You salt the water with MSG? That is so weird. Okay, you guys, as a pasta lover, but I'm not really like the best at cooking it. So what would you do? Like, do you put in salt after you put in the pasta or do you put it in as it's boiling? Doesn't the salt make water boiling slower? So I usually put the salt and the olive oil after I put in the pasta to boiling water. Hmm. When the water boiling, now time to put pasta in there. Ooh, that's nice. Your saucepan not big enough? I, uh... You chose the saucepan, Uncle Roger. Don't tell our viewer that. They think I am god of cooking. <laughs> we cook it. We actually do think he's the god of cooking. But you know, with some hiccups, it's fine. People make mistakes. He still makes delicious food. With the king of flavor, MSG. For 10 minutes, while the pasta cooking, we're gonna make our guanciale. <laughs> Fuel. Auntie Liz, Uncle Fuel Roger know you don't have fire. So I brought my own fire. Give the guanciale some wok hay. Make it more crispy. Okay, nice. Take some of your pasta water. You want that starchy water for later. Have you had MSG pasta? No, I haven't actually. This is going to be a first. It's always a first with you, Uncle Roger. First is always good. Uncle Roger, remember my first time? Full of awkward and crying. Of course, you're going to spin this first time joke all around the globe. Pasta done cooking. Take it out. And this is the only time Uncle Roger will Please use the colander. colander. Pour in your pasta water. And now pour in your carbonara sauce. Hey, he's using the tongs. Oh, that's how Asians cook. <laughs> I actually don't cook like that. I have never cooked like that until I met John. He's Filipino and then they always cook with tongs. It's just so easy. It's actually so much easier than your spatula, your big spoon, even chopstick, honestly. And now it's ready to be served. Yes, yeah, spin that. Spin it. Plate the thing. Sprinkle in more black pepper. That looks so good, you guys. It's not overly creamy and it's just right. Did he add any? Oh, actually, you don't need any oil. The guanciale is very flavorful already. Shred in more pecorino. Pecorino. Here you go, wow. Uncle Roger, wok hey MSG carbonara. What do you think? What do you think? <laughs> looks good. Let's try it. It looks really okay. good. Uncle Roger using chopsticks. Hiya. Italian Asian fusion. Mmm, it's good, fine. Hey, Liz is using fork. What do you think? No, it's nice. I like the, uh, the guanciale. It tastes really, really good. The sour white pepper, really good. 
Mwah. Anything I can improve? More pecorino. Mm. Yes, more cheese for me too. I always ask for more cheese wherever I go for pasta. And then the guy will be like, um, tell me when to stop. Okay, okay, I think that's good. I forgot you were there. <laughs> A touch. Vincenzo, hear my carbonara. Auntie Liz approve. What you think? What, what you think? think? Why don't you review Uncle Roger carbonara video? See how I do. All your video is Italian food, Italian food. Hiya, so boring. I sure all your children <laughs> sick of your Italian food now. They want to eat something from different culture. Vincenzo, Uncle Roger challenge you to make egg fried rice. It looks simple. Yes, do it. Do the egg fried rice. See if he can beat Uncle Gordon. I want to see an Italian egg fried rice. But it not so many people fuck it up. Remember, don't be like Jamie Oliver. Don't use chili jam. Mm. <laughs> Niece and nephew, subscribe to Vincenzo channel and subscribe to Auntie Liz channel. They're gonna make so many good food videos. And buy Auntie Liz cookbook. There's no pasta dishes in there, but there's plenty of noodle dishes. Just hit in the link in the below. Can't seem to get rid of you, Nigel. I love I'm sorry. It. <laughs> Nigel. <laughs> it's okay. People love the bloopers uh, anyway, yeah. All the bloopers is just Liz cracking up and she just can't take Uncle seriously. Oh Watch. Buffering. Hi. <laughs> Internet slow. Yeah, Next kitchen I'm gonna have is gonna be soundproof. Soundproof. Hey. I work here too. <laughs> <laughs> Auntie Liz, not famous enough. Right, you do it. Field strokes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, and the only fans coming up. What's the difference? Spectatoni. Slightly thicker. Yeah. Everything's better when it's thicker. Yeah, yeah say that. Say that. Say that. Say that. <laughs> say that. I just look like the dirty partner, aren't yes. I? Yes. It's now the year 2023. Hiya. <laughs> Uncle's still stroking. <laughs> oh, yay. You guys. So, what do you guys think of the carbonara? I'm telling you. I like I told you in the beginning of this video. Uncle Roger is the god of cooking. That looks so good. Guanciale with black pepper from Malaysia. And the cheese. Mm, cheese looks so good. I've learned how to make it now. I didn't know it was that easy. Honestly, I thought it was like so complicated, but all you need is egg yolk, cheese, and guanciale, and black pepper, and your noodles. That's it. And then I can make one of my favorite pasta dishes is a carbonara. If you guys ever cook that at home, I wanna know how good it tastes, or I'm just gonna <clears throat> make it this weekend. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching and I miss you all. Say hi in the comments and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye